What's up, Deadheads? It's Brian Castrillo. I just watched this great horror film. It's called Devil Row. It's by Lion Gate Studios and it portrays Vince Nem Ward. Of course, we know him as Oscar from the third season of The Walking Dead and Tony Todd. We all know him as the Candyman. And this is a movie I would love to see develop into a franchisee. Now, Vincent M. Ward portrays Devil Row, which in my opinion has a great look as a horror character, and this movie did a great job of telling the origin story of Devil Row and why he's back for revenge. Now, it, take, it starts in modern day New Orleans, which for me is a bucket list. I would love to go there, um, immerse myself in the history and the culture, the food, and a lot of the activities that are going on in New Orleans. I just think it would be a great place to visit and just have a lot of fun there. But we start off in sort of this witchy shop um, that, you know, with black magic, voodoo type shop. And you have this couple that you know, the shop owners, and they end up becoming Devil Rose's first victim. But before that, they sell some items to a girl and, and her friend who want to basically summon up Devil Row. Now, eventually the story is told through her eyes because she is one of the victims. Um, well, all her friends, you know, end up dying, but she's telling the story to this cop. But before that, we learn his backstory, and it starts off with Tony Todd, who is the father of of Vincent M. Ward characters um, before he, you know, before he dies. But Tony Todd, he, he's a slave during the Civil War period, and his owners are just real garbage humans um, for, for everything, for obvious reasons. But when you're watching this, you become angry at these characters. And when Tony Todd finally snaps and starts killing these characters, you find yourself rooting for him. And, and eventually, you know, he's about to take out, you know, the main owner guy until he's he's killed by this young kid who eventually becomes the the owner of you know this this house where Vincent M. Ward is working for this owner and some of the same garbage stuff happens again and they end up killing Vincent M. Ward's character and again I'm feeling angry and I was rooting for him to you know come back and take out these people now we go back to modern day New Orleans and the same house is sort of like a a tourist attraction and that's where that girl from the shop who bought these items and her friends are going to basically summon Devil Row and then starts the the horror and a lot of fantastic kills there there are a couple kills that were kind of off I wish they would have showed them more but Devil Row is brutal and I think this would do fantastic if they made a second and third installment but yeah Go check this out. I watched it on Vudu. I think you can get it on Amazon Prime, but fantastic movie. You're going to love it. And if you're a horror fan, I promise you're going to love these kills. But yeah, Devil Row was amazing.